here we can help them just find that pathway that gives them a totally different lifestyle. They, they can move up the ladder mm -hmm. of social mobility. That's just, then we are successful. Welcome everyone to Coffee with the President. We're here at the University of Houston. It is my honor to sit down with the amazing President Couture. Thank you so much for having coffee. Thank you, although I'm having tea. Uh, you are having tea, 100%. Uh, wait till you hear her story and her passion because it is unbelievable. Um, I'm gonna sing your praises for a minute, okay? Because you. first female chancellor in the state of Texas longest running chancellor in the history of Texas. And currently, current, the only current female chancellor in the state of Texas. Unbelievable. Right. It is so incredible. Um, and I would love to just talk a little bit about your journey because you immigrated here from India. And it's incredible, which we're gonna get into in a second, what you have done for this institution, what have you done for the city, what you've done most importantly for these students. It's gonna be awesome. But I'd love you to just start off and tell a little bit about your journey here. Well, thank you, Alex. <laughs> thank you for giving this opportunity and thank you for all those praises. Although I will <laughs> say that it's just a blessed journey and it's just so much fun to be in Houston. Everything is possible in Houston and I'm here in, in the greatest state of Texas. You can do what you want. You can do what you dream of here. So I'm very lucky to be here, I would say. Uh, yeah, in terms of my journey here, you, you know, um, I come from India uh -huh. and um, uh, I just grew up loving education, but uh, I didn't come to the United States and, uh, because I wanted to be here. I was only a teenager, but I came here because my parents arranged my marriage to somebody who was living here. So I literally was thrown in here uh -huh. in this society without any knowledge of English. But then I picked up from here and um, did you know, I did uh, my graduate degree master's from Purdue University when I was like just on 20 years old. Yeah, and you, by the way, so, some of your some of so, your colleagues were yeah. telling me some story because at that point you were learning English, right? I know. And you're like, I'm gonna go to grad school. And yes, like, well, right. It's unbelievable. I watched I Love Lucy uh, <laughs> to, to, to teach myself English. But the point is, that this is a land of opportunity. Mm -hmm. This is a great country where they're just, just, you know, doors opened for me. There were people who believed in me, gave me a chance. And that is why my passion, my mission in life is that I wanna open doors for thousands and thousands of students who otherwise may not think that this, this career or this path is for them. But you know, it is, everybody, you, the, the talent is universal. People have mm -hmm. something special. I wouldn't be sitting here and I know that our students have way more talent, there's so much talent. And if only we can help them that they are gonna be somewhere else, you know, somewhere leading this world, making impact, making change. So that's what gives me the pleasure I of my know, job. I know, and you can just feel it, uh, President Couture. I'd love to just talk about, because one of the things you're highly ranked at, at this university, it's really important, I know, just that social mobility, right? Like right. raising one generation up to just get better right. and help out then. I'd love you to just discuss where right. that passion comes from and how that, you know, transpires here at UH. So. In, 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 in a real sense, I mean, I am a product of social mobility too, because here I come here, wife of a graduate student who was getting $150 a month. And mm -hmm. so I know what kind of a struggle it could feel, but again, opportunities open and I feel so blessed to be here. For University of Houston, that's what we take the most pride in. When the students come, what the, their, their uh, potential is what their family um, income is, but as they graduate, how far they have gone with that. I would say students have so much more to do with it too, because they bring their grit and determination and their hard work. But here we can help them just find that pathway that gives them a totally different lifestyle. They, they can move up the ladder mm -hmm. of social mobility that's just, then we are successful. Yeah. That's what I feel. And we rank, by the way, very high on social mobility ranking. Oh you yeah, that's here, why I brought it up. I, yes, yeah. you get an opportunity, it's an affordable education, a lot of you know financial help we have, but at the same time, the jobs that you get, and we have all of that data, I mean, it's incredible. The journey, the, the distance that they cover while they're here and the, the way their lives get transformed, 
that's how I define our success here yeah. at the university. It's so great. It's one of those pieces because I know you're ranked very highly in mm -hmm. as well, and it's very important to you, this experiential learning, mm -hmm. where you know students are ready day one to kind of grab a job because of the right. you know, hands-on experience. And I'm just gonna tell the audience mm -hmm. a quick little story here because I just think it's amazing. Yeah. You know, I do this for a living. I've never seen this before. I'm staying at the Hilton University of Houston, which is in the center oh, of campus. You are. And 80% of the, I believe the staff there is oh, yeah. all run by students. Absolutely. And the last, last night I was on a phone call and I was just, I'm sitting there I'm like, this is unbelievable. I'm like, not just, I'm sitting in the middle of campus in a really nice hotel yeah. room and I'm overlooking the campus and then beyond that is the skyline of Houston. Yeah. It's really cool. I've never seen that anywhere. And then when I was reading yep. that 80, 85% of all people working there are actual students, I love you. And I was, yeah. by the way, I was testing it. I was in the elevator. And every time I see stuff, I'm like, what year are you? And they're like, oh, I'm a junior. And I'm like, this is so cool. That so I love you just to true. talk about, I saw it firsthand with that specific aspect of it, but I know experiential learning yep. is super important. So. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you got to yeah. experience <laughs> that. Yeah, we have a hotel right here. So, you know, what you brought up is what is so unique about the University of Houston. It's not what happens inside the classroom because yes, our faculty are, absolutely engaged with the students and they are so passionate. However, what happens outside of the classroom, like what you witness, that is what makes the learning here at the University of Houston so special. So this is real life, right? Same way we have so many other things that students really get to dabble in the things and experiences that are real life. For instance, Many universities have this paper stock fund where students are learning how to invest. Well, mm -hmm. here, a donor gave us actual fund, the real money, and uh -huh. students play with that real money. I wish I could have put my money for investment. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it doing it's well? just a conflict, <laughs> I can't do it. But they do better yeah. than, you know, otherwise. Yeah. But then there are many other things too. You, you, you reminded me about, um, you just said Hilton. And there is one event that's absolutely my favorite. They do every year they have a gala night, which is called the Gourmet Night, where students, 400 of them, is their capstone course. They are the managers, they are the marketers, they are the wine collectors. They go and get the chefs to, to cook with them. They do the serving. 400 students serving the mega people, the tycoons of the entertainment industry right wow. here on campus. It I is an amazing <laughs> experience with the seven course meal and the wine tasting is amazing. Same way, you know, we have number one entrepreneurship program yeah, in the yeah. country. Number one. Number yeah. one, here again, number one. Okay, and I love students. it, I love your, I know it's so funny, because you, your competitiveness and absolutely. your passion, it just like jumps off the screen, yeah. it's so fun. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so this, students in this program, they put up every year a food festival called the Wolf, Wolf Festival in two and a half days, students alone, they are the ones who market everything, who figure it out, how to set up a stall, they go and find partners and they find capital money to really be uh, investing in their enterprise. They learn then how to be entrepreneur, how to make money, and they end up raising more than half a million dollars every year for a scholarship. And it's an amazing experience for campus. So that is what I would say is so good about the University of Houston, the students, they learn the real life experiences yeah. here. They get real life experiences. They learn real life skills. And so the, by the time they leave from here, you know, they just don't have a degree. They actually yeah. have a career. They've been doing it. They've right? been doing, They've been doing, doing it. it. Yeah. Yes. And because we are in this fourth largest city in the United yeah. States, a global city, yeah. we can do that. We can afford yeah. that experience for the students. Yeah. As you talk about that experience, I love, you know, there's lots of traditions yes. here. And I'd love you to share that because, uh, you, you know, there's some that you brought. Anyway, I'd love yep. you to tell the audience right. a little bit about. So traditions. one of my favorite one that just happened, uh, uh, I don't know if you got to experience it and that's called Frontier Fiesta. After all, this is Texas We talk about here. it by the way in the episode. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, this is Texas after all. And uh, before even Houston Rodeo became so famous and the largest rodeo and livestock show in the world, University of Houston started doing 85 years ago, sort of like a mini rodeo type of thing. It's, it's a fiesta, it's a frontier fiesta. Students work for three months and they do performances, they bond together while learning 
skits and they make fun of everybody, but they have <laughs> beautiful skits there. I mean, at least half of these skits feature President Couture. I just want you to know. <laughs> Always in red suit, you know, by the way. So, and it is an amazing experience for students, for communities, free for community engagement with the community. But then I said red, and which means that we have tradition every Friday. It is a Cougar Red Friday. Yeah. Even in Houston, we paint the city red. And I was, yeah. you'll be surprised, Alex, to know this, but when I came here 16 years ago, red wasn't all that prominent. Yeah. And I noticed this, so I decided to launch that campaign. And That's first a, one year, I wore red every single day. You did red every day. How did you pull that off? That's a lot of every, wardrobe. I just went and bought <laughs> lots of red clothes and I wore every single day so I can make a statement that we are proud of our journey. Yeah. We are proud of our color. We are proud of who we are. It's so great. And, and it's so good that it's not just the students, but like the whole city and all alumni are into oh yes. that now. What a great all, tradition. All faculty and staff, you know, they all embrace red. And, um, you know, it's uh, now I, I'm i telling you, I landed in India at 2 a.m. one time. And they, somebody was there to pick me up from the government because I was on a on a business trip. And they said, well, our note said that you will be able to spot her because she'll be wearing it. <laughs> oh my I'm God, like, that's so good. at 2 a.m. in is, New Delhi, the, the I mean, I would be wearing it. The story has gone all the way to New Delhi. That's amazing. Yes. So, uh, but but uh, it, it's, a, it, it's just a matter of engagement, proud yeah. feeling of belonging, feeling of the we are part of a winning team. Yeah. Winning team. team. I know. Well, you can. There, we. You can, want to talk about basketball? I think we should talk yeah, about well, basketball I, because yeah. it's, it's something. But I just think. It, but prior to getting it, it was definitely okay. getting invest. But I think there, and we talk about it in the in the episodes. Here, but there's mm -hmm. a lot of number. You, I mean, what you what the, you just keep going, jumping up in rankings across the board in so many different aspects. It's so impressive, and oh, I know that's you. a lot of your leadership and your dedication, your passion. But let's let's transition this into basketball yep. because. It's an exciting team. <laughs> oh, yes. And I, I love sports. I would be very honest with you. I mean, um, it's great to be part of a winning team. And right now, in a preseason poll, our basketball team is ranked number one. Number one. Hey, you, number there's a one. theme here going on. Number one. Number one. And, you know, but I love seeing us win. But what I love more is really the culture that it has created among the basketball program. It's amazing to watch these student athletes come and they may not be five star athletes. They are three star, four star, some maybe five star, but how they gel together as a team, they are inspiration to me and to everybody else. How you work as a team, despite all the adversities last year, that's what happened. So next year, it's going to be great. <laughs> yeah. And, um, I just feel, I see the enthusiasm with the students when yeah. they go for the sports team. And by the way, I go and do tailgate with the students. Yeah. 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 I mean, I can see well, donors, you know, yeah. even in the suite <laughs> or here and there, but the students, they yeah, are precious. It is. That's they what it's all precious. about. Yes. This is what it's all. And how exciting to have something on such a national, international stage. That, you know, it's, um, yeah, it's really, really amazing. Yeah. Um, I just want to say, like, thank you, because I, I know we could sit here all day and, and keep chatting. Thank you for giving time. Of course. But what you have done um, for the city of Houston, what you've done for this institution, mm -hmm. and what you're most importantly doing for all these students is incredible. And but I you also. You know, Alex, on me. I know it's, it's on you, but it takes a village. No, I mean, no, great. No, it's of Houston, course. it's yes. the state, you know, it's, it's our people here in, in the university. It has been. I am a small part of the whole story, but the story is incredible. Yeah. I agree How incredible. With you. And she's humble at the same time. It's awesome. But yeah. it, it really is. It, it's, it's, but it's leadership that needs to drive something. Someone's got to have the passion to drive that. And I was reading a statistic, and I think it was over $60 billion that University of Houston oh, gives yeah. to economic impact to the city of Houston. And Make so it is. Impact. It's like you work. I mean, like I tell you, I would just go back to that story of me sitting in the hotel room on mm -hmm. campus, and I'm just looking out over the campus, and then off the horizons. City yeah. and just seeing the synergy between all of yeah. that 
is uh, it's a beautiful thing. And so I just want to say thank you for having the college tour here. We can't wait to be a small piece of helping tell this oh, story. Yes. And um, thank you for taking time. Well, with thank you. We didn't even have time to talk about the medical school or the innovation hub. I mean, there are so much going on. I know. This is not enough time, I think, Alex. Well, how much time do you have? I, I mean, uh, I, there's a lot of stuff. That I think know, you have a lot of things. When you want to talk about the university, I can spend all day. You know, know I'm so passionate. I know, I know it is. You can, so. you can sense that. And um, so thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having the college tour thank here. Thank you. It's awesome, and I'm glad we're both wearing red on every Friday. I'm oh. going to put my red on. <laughs> Thank in honor you. Of you at the University of Houston. All right, everyone. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye. -bye.